yeah, any um, uh, any service, memorial service like this is uh, certainly tragic, especially when some are taken at such a young age, and it's it's heartbreaking to see. Uh, obviously, a small casket. We know what an infant inside, so it's 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 heartbreaking. Yes. Yeah. So unfortunately, we've had a, a rough few years uh, going through polls, and then you're losing Deborah, and then having um, Officer Ken Valencia shot. Uh, so we're giving them all the help um, they need, and you know we we're one big family standing together, and we're just going to back each other up like always. We have uh, huge support from not only um, the rest of law enforcement here in Central Florida, but the entire community is has gathered around us and, and the families here to, to offer their support. Right, so we have a mechanism in place to help our officers deal with uh, mental health issues, PTSD, and um, it's, you know, unfortunately we've been through this before, like with Pulse and, and like Deborah. so uh, that's one of the things that we continue to um, get help for our officers. And, you know, these kind of tragedies affect everyone differently. I, I broke, briefly spoke uh, with the families inside and basically just told them, you know, um, so sorry for your loss on behalf of all the men and women of the Orlando Police Department. Well, you know, obviously uh, when there's a tragedy involving young people and to see um, small caskets is uh, unfortunate. And, you know, it's, like I said, it's heartbreaking and uh, we feel for the families. Uh, it was obviously a very difficult day uh, for the family, but uh, they're trying to remain strong due to the overwhelming support of the community, as well as family and friends. I'm here uh, joined by uh, Joshua Pluth, his father of Orion and Lilia, as well as her grandparents, Lisa and, and Thomas. Alberto Lopez is the grandfather of all four children. Uh, Ciara is not going to be here today. Uh, we want to maintain her privacy as she was a uh, victim of domestic violence. And uh, she was, did attend a viewing yesterday uh, at Newcomer Funeral Home. I can't, uh, obviously the whole community has really come out in support of this family. I can say without a doubt that uh, they really are sharing in the grief of this family with their thoughts and prayers. At this time, I'm going to read a statement by Ciara Lopez. I would like to thank everyone who was there for me on that day of June 11th. From every officer that I spoke with, to every person who has been there for me and is still here for me during this time of anguish, I thank you. My prayers and support go out to Officer Valencia during this time. I want to thank him for his courage and bravery trying to help save my children. I pray that he can walk away from this and be there for his family. I would like to thank everyone who has kept us in their thoughts and prayers and those who generously donated to help take care of our children in their final moments here on earth. Knowing that this is the last time we will be ever be able to pick out their clothes or watch them as they sleep. The reality of this has not set in for me. I remain stuck in that one night, that one night where everything changed, standing outside that apartment waiting for different news. I long terribly to be with them in their final moments, sharing in any pain they might have felt. I was told that they passed away in their beds, my girls holding each other, providing love and support and comfort to one another one last time. I understand that people want me to imagine it happening in the most peaceful way possible, but all I want is to be able to feel this tremendous pain that I've been unable to process. I am lost emotionally and in physical pain over the loss of my children, pain I know will never go away. Every day I'm trying to be strong as I'm not the only one who lost these children. They're loved by an entire community. The people at Sadler Elementary had the opportunity to meet all of my children and now they too mourn with me. The neighbors who saw us leave every morning to work. I hope they remember Baby Dove saying and waving bye to them every day. Aiden being a little gentleman in his suit, Orion being a little spitfire, and Lily being wise beyond her years and incredibly mature for her age. That was our family. They were the ones who saw us with our guard down. They saw my happiness and shared in every bit of it. They were also the ones who saw my pain and were there to comfort me. They knew everything I did for them and were always appreciative of anything they received. My world has crashed around me. I will never have what I had and I had plenty. 
I always hoped that they would grow up to share stories about their youth and laugh about all the crazy experiences we had, that somehow these experiences would make them stronger people in life and pull them through difficult times. I know I will never have that opportunity, but I take comfort in knowing that they will also never feel pain. We miss them terribly. They were taken too soon and it's just not fair. I would have died with my children and never in a million years did I foresee harm towards them. Please, if someone you know is struggling with mental illness or domestic violence, have them seek help. This did not have to end this way and it is my hope that another family never has to endure the same. Thank you for your continued love and support, Ciara Lopez. And uh, at this time, if, if anybody has a few questions I can answer, I, I don't know if the family wants to speak. I, if you have any questions for me, I could certainly answer them if anybody has a question. Is there any comfort uh, or solace that you or members of your family took from the sermon and any words after that, listening to what the priest said? Well, certainly, it was, it was a beautiful service. It was a beautiful ceremony. They were able to see them uh, yesterday in a viewing. Uh, it, was, it was open caskets. It was a moment where they could see them one last time. So certainly it helps, but certainly the grief's not going to go away. Well, the support of the community I've heard from people from all over the country, and in fact, people that have experienced the same exact tragedy. I mean, over two, over three people around the country where they experienced uh, an estranged loved one or an ex-husband or a fiance that took the lives of the children and took their own life to reach out to Ciara. Uh, and it's not just Ciara, certainly it's the whole family, everybody's hurting, grandparents, uh, Mrs. Portuna, who's the grandmother, couldn't even make it here. It's a very difficult time right now, uh, as well as Ciara. Uh, to me, I, I really think the realization hasn't set in yet. But she's trying to be as stoic and, and strong as possible. Thank you, everybody, and uh, thank you for coming out.